how long should these black six and head free mice live under the best circumstances. And this is uh, what we call the 900 day rule. Once you pull the data, you see that in the best case, they live around 900 days. And from this, we can then conclude, if you run a study and your control mice do reach this lifespan, then your re results will be more robust. But even failing this, right, if you got unlucky and your control mice are short-lived, maybe your intervention is still very robust and it leads to a lifespan much higher than 950 days. This is still extremely unusual. And this still suggests that your intervention is probably working and somehow beneficial. So you compare it to historical controls. And some people wondered, is maybe 900 days too high, too stringent, how do different labs perform? I don't want to you know, single out anyone as a bad lab because uh, that's not how it works. Um, sometimes people get unlucky, we cannot fully control mouse lifespans, as I will explain in the second part of the talk. But here I just want to plot data from some colleagues who consistently run like really amazing mouse lifespan studies. And you can see that they get like consistent lifespans. So lifespans are often very consistent within facilities and labs. So um, Alan Richardson, we already discussed, my colleague Marco Malavolta from Italy, for example, the ITP gets amazing lifespans for the female head free mice. So it's possible.